In this video, I'll show you how you can build this dashboard to visualize your ESP32 or ESP266 sensor readings from anywhere in the world. It's like having your own weather station dashboard. In previous videos, I've already shown how to save sensor readings to a database and display them on a table or charts that you can access from anywhere using your own server. Now, I've decided to take a few steps further and add some information to the web page. I've added two gauges to display the latest temperature and humidity readings, as well as some statistics about the minimum, maximum, and average readings from an amount of readings that you can define here. You can also visualize all the latest readings on this table and you can select how many readings you want to show. Why should you care about building your own dashboard? There are many cloud solutions, both free and paid, that you can use to publish your readings. But with this approach, you have full control of your own system. You can customize the dashboard appearance and add as many features as you want with some coding. Here's a high level overview of this project. You have an ESP32 or ESP266 that sends sensor readings to your own server. For this, you have your board connect to your router. In your server, there's a PHP script that allows you to store your readings in a MySQL database. Then, another PHP script that will display the web page with the gauges, table, and all the other information. Finally, you can visualize the readings from anywhere in the world by accessing your own domain name. I recommend using Bluehost as your hosting provider. Bluehost has cPanel and comes with all the features required for this project but you can use any other hosting service that offers PHP and MySQL. If you don't have a hosting account, I would appreciate if you sign up for Bluehost using my link, which doesn't cost you anything extra and helps support my work. You can find the link below this video. After signing up for a hosting account and setting up a domain name, you can log in to your cPanel or similar dashboard. Create your database username and password. Run an SQL query to create your table. You'll also need two PHP scripts, one to insert the data in your MySQL database and another to access the readings in the database and display them on a pretty web page. I recommend following the companion blog post that has all the step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots. Next, you need to insert your data from your ESP32 or ESP266 into the database. This project is compatible with any dev board that has an ESP32 or ESP266 chip. You just need to assemble a simple circuit and upload the sketch provided to insert temperature, humidity, pressure into your database every 10 minutes. We'll use a BME 20 sensor, but you can modify the code to insert any other sensor readings. We'll program the ESP using Arduino IDE, so make sure you have the boards installed. Copy this code to your Arduino ID. You need to make some changes to make it work for you. Add your network credentials, SSID and password. Type your domain name so the ESP publishes the readings to your server. And then upload the sketch to your ESP. Open the Arduino ID serial monitor to see if your readings are being published successfully to your server. Let your board run for a while. Open a browser and type the domain name followed by esp-weather-station.php. You should see this web page with some readings published. There's two gauges that show the latest temperature and humidity readings, and the timestamp. Here you can type the number of readings to visualize, as well as the number of readings for these statistics. By default it's set to 20. For example, if you type 30 and press the Update button, you'll see that your web page updates and recalculates these values. Finally, at the bottom of the page, there's a table with all the information stored in your database according to the number of readings defined. I hope you find this project interesting. For the complete step-by-step -step instructions, click the first link in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to watch my next ESP projects.